Real quick, since you guys stunk at it all day yesterday, is there any Team Grimm in the building? Good. That's what I like to hear. About time, after all those burpees you had to do last night, I heard that sucked. Uh, everybody else? Good job. Keep on being uh, loud for your coaches and you won't have to do 10 minutes of burpees before your workouts. Cool? All right. Sweet. Uh, we've got circuit training today. Um, we're going to be focusing on core and legs. Um, guys, this is one of my favorite ways that we program workouts. I love circuit training because what you guys have to do is there's only one movement that has rep counts. The other ones are just to keep you busy. So uh, we're going to actually need to get into groups of three today. So um, you and your partner, find somebody, okay? If you guys have four people, that's cool. You guys can just, two of you will just do the same movement at the same time, okay? It's not a big deal, all right? So how it works is the reason why there's three people is there's three spots. Uh, the first person is gonna start on O'Johnny's for 40. The second person is gonna start doing hip downs. The third person is gonna start doing kettlebell deadlifts. After the first person finishes 40 O'Johnny's, you're gonna follow the arrows, okay? O'Johnny's goes to hip downs, hip downs, goes to kettlebell deads, the kettlebell deads go up, then they will do 40 O'Johnny's. All three of you guys will cycle through 40 O'Johnny's, then all three of you guys will cycle through 30, 20, and 10. After you guys finish this triangle, you've got 15 burpees before you can move on to the next triangle. Same thing, okay, cycling through, cycling through, cycling through, 200 spins, and then cycling through, cycling through, cycling through, step up, okay? Does anybody have any questions how it's ran? Pretty simple, you're just going around the triangle, okay, following the arrows, made a road map for you, pretty simple. Um, your warm up today, let's go over that real quick. Um, then after we go over the board, we'll make sure everybody's in a good little group, okay? For your warm up, we've got Tickner's Tushy Toaster, guaranteed to toast your tushy, okay? We're gonna do 10 of all three of these movements on the right side followed by the left. So we've got hydrants where we're gonna raise that knee up, then we've got side kicks. That is a side kick. Dylan, show them what a not a side kick is. Okay, that's not a side kick. Okay, knee up to the side, but, but it hurts. I know, that's the point. Get that knee up to the side, flick it out there for 10. Okay, then we've got 10 mule kicks up to the sky. Dylan, show them what a not a mule kick is. Okay, that's not a mule kick. Okay, mule kick up to the sky with your heel. Okay, 10 of all three of those on the left, 10 of all three of those on the right. Then we're gonna go into 20 of all those on the left, 20 of all those on the right, uh, then you guys are warm and can pick your triangle to start. Uh, we're gonna start over here on the left triangle side. Uh, oh, Johnny is our movement that we're counting, or our pacer. Okay, hands go behind the ears, and we are just shifting those hips. That's two, three, four, okay? It's basically just a jump lunge with a little bit of a hip shift in there. Uh, hip downs is our first uh, little active rest here. You can go from your palms to your forearms, uh, but you're taking those hips up and over and you're intentionally keeping that stomach tight. Okay? You need to be flexing that stomach and keeping it tight. Uh, kettlebell deads um, is our last one here and you're going to keep the weight heavy in the heels, bringing the kettlebell down right in between like the toes, balls of the feet area. You're gonna feel a burn, pull in the hamstrings, then you're gonna stand up and squeeze in your glutes up at the top. Your interval for this triangle is 15 burpees. Everybody chest down to the floor and back up. Uh, Sit-ups is the pacer for the next one. For 25, bringing the elbows up to the knees, squeezing your core. A uh, curtsy lunge is gonna be our first active rest here. Step in behind the front leg, knee drops down to the floor. Thank you, that's a great little curtsy bow thing. That's beautiful. Um, making sure that you don't open up. Okay, if you open up, uh, what we mean by that is like opening up your body, that's hello, blown out knee, okay? So let's not do that, okay? So we have everything square towards the front of the room. Um, and cherry bombs is your last one here. Jenny bombs going all the way out, exploding, and then coming back up, show them the dead bug. Okay, make sure we're not doing the dead bug. Or the, or the holy moly, I got way too much momentum only, okay? We don't want to do that either. Um, and then your interval for that one is going to be 200 spins. And then plate overs is our last one. Guys, this one I put 10, 10, 10, 10, just in hopes that you guys will watch this demo really closely, okay? This is not a fast movement. This is a very slow, say it again, slow movement, okay? Let your core do the work. I know you can take your arms and move that plate from side to side, but your core ain't doing that work, 
Okay, so make your core do the work where you're gonna raise it with your core, go over the body nice and slowly and down to one side. Uh, over is one and back is two. So if you go quick, these people aren't gonna get any time to work on those other movements. Okay, so slow down and give them some time. Okay, bicycle crunch is your next one. We're taking opposite elbow to opposite knee, uh, keeping both feet off the floor, getting that good burn, making sure we're not getting into super big hurry. And then step back lunge with the booty lift is your last one. So you're gonna step back, dropping that knee to the floor, and then you're raising that heel up to the sky to work that booty. If you guys happen to finish all three, or the, uh, the interval after this one is 20 step ups each. So coming up, uh, bringing that knee up to the chest. Okay, uh, and again, he's standing all the way up. He's not just staying hunched over like this. So come up, get your good rotation, and step back down. 20 on the left, 20 on the right. Um, if you guys finish all three of the uh, in, uh, all three of the circuits, then come back and do TTT, and you can go 10, 20, and then throw that 30 on there to finish out the workout. Anybody have any questions? Real quick, let's get.